Hey guys, it is Brian here with another FIFA 14 video for you guys. We're going to be starting up another career mode today, a second career mode after Cardiff City. I posted a video about Bradford City, but I have been you know, thinking about it a little bit, and I wanted to have another option for you guys. And the reason why I wanted to do this, because I realized that Bradford's actually been done quite a bit in the past. And when I did Carlisle United last year, I really had a lot of fun playing with that team. And one of the reasons why I did was because they were, you know, relatively unknown to me, and it was a side that I had, you know, some experience of learning from you guys, the the fans of that team. So I, I did a bit of research, and I also wanted to do a team in League Two. That was the other thing that uh, Bradford's in League One. That's a challenge, but League Two is a whole nother level. So I thought about it a bit, and I had some recommendations for stuff. But I looked up a team that has not had a career mode in at least two years, or at least for you know, as far as I could find. And Hartlepool United are a team in that category. So I thought, you know what, they look like a side that I actually have a lot of fun with as well. And I wanted to start this up too. But it's up to you guys to choose which team we're going to go forward with here. I wanted to give you guys, though, a second option to choose between. So what we're going to do in the next day or so is kind of, you know, have both videos sit out there. We'll see which one's getting more likes, which one's getting more interest. And based on that, I will continue with one of these series over uh, between Bradford or Hartley Pool here. So we're going to be setting up things pretty much similar to what I'm doing for the Cardiff City career. We're going to have world class, six minutes, moderate financial restrictions, and uh, we'll play at Town Park, which is you know pretty similar to Victoria Park. And uh, the thing that I thought was kind of funny as well is that I'm from Victoria, BC, and that, obviously Queen Victoria, but I thought, hey, that is kind of a sign there. Maybe I should choose this team, and I made that the reason why I was doing the second video. Uh, so yeah, that's what we'll be setting up with here, at least initially. And... Um, you know, the other thing too is I like taking on a side that just got demoted. You know, they're obviously feeling the pain of that happening, which is not a good thing. But for me as a, a player, it gives me something to kind of talk about and something to, you know, also rebound from. One of the things I was really excited about with the possibility of playing as Wolves or Portsmouth is the fact that both those teams have had, you know, really hard times of just being demoted twice. And, you know, I didn't want to do a side in the end of it all that was really done multiple times and uh, that's why like I said I, I had a second kind of turnaround on this because I realized Bradford was actually done by MGH and uh, that's you know obviously <laughs> a, a pretty big YouTuber for FIFA videos so I decided hey we'll, we'll give you guys a second option here for teams and uh, I wanted to choose a side that was you know a, a team that has maybe you know fallen down a little bit but they could also make it up too and it'd be really crazy for a team like uh, Harley Pool to make it to uh, the Premier League, and uh, I thought that that would be a fun way to go about things here. So that's, you know, kind of the reasoning behind why I chose Hartlepool. Uh, the other team I was looking at, Morkham, I believe that's how you pronounce uh, them, was another team that I was looking at, but then kind of like the Victoria uh, Park was the thing that stuck for whatever reason it did. And I decided, hey, I'll go with this team, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'm not very familiar with their team whatsoever. Um, I'm familiar that... The, it's near Newcastle, Hartlepool that is, and um, so it's up in the north, which is, you know, kind of a contrast to us playing, well, actually, I guess you could say two interesting teams in that regard, because we have a team from, you know, where Hartlepool is, and then we also were playing off a Welsh side as well, so we got some interesting cases in regards to, uh, you know, teams that we're playing off there, but both sides, you know, like Hartlepool as well, uh, one of the other reasons why I was excited by them was that they have a bit more of a history. They're I believe were founded in 1908, and don't quote me on that because I'm not 100 sure. It might have been that the uh, the park that they play at was founded in 1908, but still they they they've been around for quite a bit. I think uh, Morecambe was founded in 1950. It said so that was a you know again it, it doesn't really matter in the end of the day, but looking for reasons to be like okay this could be a fun type of thing to get into and get into the role. That's the most important thing for me. Is I'm doing a second series. I don't want it to be something where I'm not interested in doing it. So, first off, out of the gate, I wanted to make sure that this was a team that I was very excited for and a team that I wanted to get into. So, what we're going to do in this episode, similar to uh, what I've done for my other career modes, is we're just going to take a look at the rosters initially and kind of get an idea of what we're working with and what we might want to bring in as well. And um, with the League One side, there's a lot less money. That's one of the negatives that we obviously have to deal with immediately. Uh, but on top of that too, though, we, we have some options and, you know, We'll be able to maybe loan in some players, look at some free agents, and that's kind of the route that we're going to have to take, at least initially, to uh, make this happen. So, 
right off the bat here, I can see that our player that is the best player on our team is uh, our keeper here, who's also a pretty solid age too. So that's a solid place to be, uh, you know, kind of set and set, ready to go for the rest of the season. So we have Flanders there who could be a solid piece for us there. That's a bit of a drop off there for Duckworth. Um, but there's a nice uh, center back for us to have a, a young center back there. And Jack Baldwin, too. So two really young center backs. That's nice to see. We can work with those guys. And, um, you know, Austin, obviously, captain here. He's a little bit older, but that kind of veteran presence on the team. And then we got Jonathan Franks, another young player. It's good to see. So we got some young players. That's really important to me. I didn't look into it too much. Matthew Dolan, again, 20 years old, too. So we're working with some young kids, which is important for us. So uh, that's nice to see. And Jack Compton, too, a relatively good player is there as well. And then... Yes, Luke James, the the one piece that I was like, I was trying to remember, what is the piece that Hartlepool has that could be a big deal for us? And Luke James is that piece. So we'll definitely use Luke James to uh, his utmost uh, in regards to, you know, trying to do the best we can with him. And Andy Monkhouse there is our other piece. Um, so I guess the drop off there for the keeper, Sam Collins, an older uh, center back there. But we got, like I said, two younger guys that we can work with there. Anthony Sweeney, older as well. So... It looks like at least, yeah, We Steve Howard, I, I think I played with Steve Howard as well in my Carlisle career, actually, yeah. I don't know if he was loaned in Carlisle, but uh, I played with him a little bit there. And um, James Poole. James Poole's another good striker, so we don't have to use Monkhouse. We can use Poole in that spot there. Um, but yeah, a couple older players there and also some younger players here. Brad Walker, too. That looks like another solid piece. Uh, yeah, so actually, this, look, this is getting me excited. These are a lot of young players here that have a good potential, and then... Uh, Dan, Dan, uh, sorry, Darren Holden there as well looks like a another player that could be uh, put into the squad if we need to. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Wanted to take a quick look here at the team, get an idea of what we're working with, and also, like I said, it's up to you guys. Do you want to see Hartley Pool? Do you want to see Bradford? It's up to you. I mean, and I, I'm saying this honestly, my heart's a little bit in Hartley Pool now after I've thought about it a bit. But I'll let it up to you, or I'll leave it to you guys to make that decision. Just let me know in the comments section below. I'll give it some time. I won't rush it. I got plenty of time to do Carlisle and other stuff. So I'll do that in the meantime. Let me know, and then we'll get episode two going where we get into the preseason. Until then, though, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you all in the future. Cheers.